What's going on guys? Josh here from Momentum Productions and today we're talking about the Cosmos 600 HD transmission system. This is an excellent system for those of you who are in TV and broadcast situations. Also, if you want to not deal with a bunch of HDMI cables dangling around and you want something a lot more flexible and long range, then this 600 foot HD transmitter is the perfect idea for you. Included in the package, we have a hard shell case. This is an excellent case, which is also water and shock resistant. When we open it up, we have two levels to the case. On the top level, we have the HD transmission system, which includes the transmitter and receiver. On the bottom level, we have a ton of different accessories, such as the C-stand clamp, three antennas, two mushroom antennas, power cables, a USB cable to upgrade firmware, and an excellent dual ball head mount. Both the transmitter and the receiver are made out of aluminum metal. It's excellent quality and none of it feels cheap. You'll also notice that we have LED displays. This is great because it'll give you real-time data of your signal strength, temperature, resolution, and frame rate. Both units power off of the Sony MPF style batteries. We can also use the included power cables to run them off V-mount connection or V-mount batteries. On the sides of the units, we have SDI in, SDI out, and HDMI in and HDMI out. Now the downside is that we don't have HDMI loop out, meaning that if you're running footage directly into the transmitter, you can't loop out the footage onto a monitor, so your operator is gonna have a tough time. Now you can go around this by using the SDI loop out or your monitor's loop out. On the other side of the unit, we have an audio jack in, power switch, and Limo power connection. On the bottom of the units, we have multiple threading options, going from 3/8 inch to quarter 20 inch. On the top of the transmitter, we have connections for our antennas. We have two different sets of antennas. We have rabbit ears and mushroom antennas. The mushroom antennas perform slightly better, especially if there's multiple obstructions. Now, when we look at the receiver, we'll notice that we have the same exact inputs and outputs. However, there are no antennas on this unit, which is why it's slightly larger than the transmitter. Hooking up and connecting the systems are very easy. All we have to do is load up our Sony MPF style batteries, connect to your camera, connect to your monitor, and flip on the power switch. Here you can see how I'm rigging it up to my gimbal. I'm using the Juin Crane 3 Lab. Now the Cosmos 600 is an excellent option for those of you who are gimbal operators because you can have your DP or director monitor your footage from up to 600 feet away. You don't have to deal with SDI cables or HDMI cables dangling around. You can choose multiple different channels on this unit, meaning that interference in an open area under 600 feet is very unlikely. The dual ball head mount is probably one of my favorite accessories with this unit because it's very strong. So mounting it onto my gimbal was a breeze and it felt very sturdy. Now when it came down to lag, it was actually a fraction of a second. Hardly noticeable, but it's still there. It's actually greatly improved when comparing it to the Mars 300. You can check out that review video right here. When it comes down to range, in a mildly obstructed area, I was able to get about 350 feet. Now, we filmmakers rarely shoot in perfect locations, meaning that there's going to be obstructions. So 350 feet in an area that I was shooting in just for demo footage actually came out pretty, pretty good. I was happy with that 350 foot range. Now, when it comes down to shooting indoors and outdoors where you have walls in between your camera and your receiver, well, this is my thoughts on that. So right now we're testing out the interference range. I have my camera set up with the transmitter right outside back there in my patio, and I live in a traditional apartment with normal drywalls uh, that have uh, wooden two by fours. So we're not talking about brick walls here. Let's take a look at where the transmitter is positioned. Right out here. So not too far. Let's see how many walls we can get away with. So I'm gonna take this setup here, move back some more. Notice the signal bar here. All right, so we still get pretty good signal. I'm gonna go around here. It's gonna start to drop. So keep your eye on that. All right, we're gonna go into this other room here. And that's where we are with the signal. It's still pretty strong signal here. All right. And this apartment's about 1,050 square feet, give or take. 
So we still get pretty good signal and we're about three walls away from the transmitter. Now there are some important things that you have to look at when you're trying to purchase an HD transmission system. Does it get hot? Is it noisy? What's the lag like? And what's the range like? Overall, this unit performed exceptionally well. Now, there was no noise, it did get slightly warm, there was very little lag, and the range was pretty good. Now, there are a few quirks on this system. One, that HDMI loop out, I wish this system had it. Two, there is no battery indicator, so you never know when you're running out of juice, which is why it's important to use a V-mount battery when you're using the system, because usually V-mount batteries have a battery level indicator. Overall, I'm very happy with the system. It's actually better than a lot of the other systems that I used, especially when it came down to temperature and noise. If you're interested in the Cosmos 600, check out the link for it down below. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and subscribe with those notifications turned on, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.